Well, um, lady and gentlemen, we have a choice. I mean, acquire uh, two aircrafts, either on wet leads or dry leads. As you all know, the wet leads include the plane, the pilot, and the entire member of the crew. But in the wet leads, we are just leasing just the plane. So, <clears throat> which do we go for? <clears throat> wet lease is a total package. Yeah. But very expensive. It will cost up to $500 million. That's true. And besides, it does not allow for transfer of skills to our people. Uh -huh. uh, so yes, we go for the drives. Oh, excuse me. Uh -huh. yeah, yes. I've got a surprise package for you. Huh? We'll be marking your birthday in your private yacht. <laughs> really? Of course, Dad. Everything is already in place. Oh, what a boy, what a boy. Yes, Daddy. Indeed, it, it, it's a pleasant surprise to me. All right. I mean, I never expected that. <laughs> and you can also invite your board of directors to come and celebrate your birthday with us. Of course, I will extend your invitations to them just right now. Oh, yes. You know what, Bioye? You are always my good boy. I'm proud of you. Thank you, thank you. Yes, you are my pride. That's all right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, sorry, lady and gentlemen. Um, it seems we have a challenge at taking a critical decision on the issue of uh, lease. Let's allow the Holy Spirit to take control of our thoughts while I move an adjournment for this meeting. That's okay, Chairman. That's all right. That's all right. Uh, meanwhile, my son has just called and joining me to invite you to join in the celebration of my birthday, which will be taking place in my private yacht. Oh, <laughs> that's beautiful. <laughs> that's beautiful. Congratulations, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Chairman. Thank you. This is a birthday with a different house. Of course it is. Sorry, man. Yeah. I have phobia for what? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. As for your phobia, that shouldn't constitute any problem. All right, Chairman. I will make a special arrangement for an helicopter to pick you and drop you straight there inside the boat. <laughs> <laughs> what about that? That's okay, guys. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you for all that you've been doing in the house of God. God will continue to bless you abundantly. Sir. Thank you, Pastor. It's all to the glory of God. Hallelujah. I also want to appreciate God for your life. I mean, looking at your workload and tight schedule, you still create time to listen to the word of God with all eagerness. We thank God, Pastor. It's the grace of God. Hallelujah. Uh, Pastor, I I'm sorry, I just want to ask, how is the church finding the boss useful? Oh, incredible, sir. Incredible. You can't believe it that as big as the boss is. The fuel consumption is very low. Huh? Interesting. We traveled with it to Kaduna for our convention. And apart from the fuel we bought before we left here, we never had to refuel it again until we got there. Is that so? Ah, Pastor. I'm happy that that boss is of relevance in the work of evangelism in the church. Mm -hmm. um, but, Pastor, <clears throat> there is this simple favor I want you to do for me. Ah, no problem. Um, listen to you, sir. With, you, with God, all things are possible. Yes, I know, Pastor. I want you to please intensify your prayers for my children, both within the country and uh, abroad. Pastor, I, I don't want any of them to derail. I don't want them to go away from God. Hmm. Please, Pastor. Hmm. That's no problem, sir. I'm happy to hear that. Especially since that happens to be one of your major prayer requests. Of course it is. And the church is joining hands to pray for them. Thank you. God. All you need to do is just have faith. God is good, sir. The Lord will help me, sir, all the time. <laughs> Thank you very much, Pastor. You're welcome, sir. I always appreciate you. I am finished. 
Where do I find 3 million naira to pay for the container? There is still more on it already. Patrick. Patrick. You have to take things easy, my friend. Huh? Don't open this wine. What I need is money. Leave the wine alone. Patrick, like I said, you have to take things easy. Huh? <clears throat> I'm afraid. The way you are going now, you may suddenly go hypertensive overnight. Take things easy. How much do you call the money? Three million naira. Three million? Yeah. Give me a minute. Hmm? Oh, I have it here. My friend, you have to trust in God. Huh? Is there anything too difficult for God to do? <clears throat> if you because of money, turn yourself into a woman. Hmm? So, there you are. Three million naira. <laughs> Three million naira? Yeah. I can't believe this. <laughs> Engineer, you are a friend in a million. That is nothing. I will live to be Patrick! On my life. What are you doing? You saved me from Come on. Come on. It's alright, it's alright. As soon as I take the goods and sell them. I'm going to pay back the money. Come on, it's nothing. What are we friends for? Am I friend? Pay back at your utmost convenient time. Is that right? Come on, thank you very much. And uh, now that this is settled, can you go for your drinks now? Why not? I'll finish a couple of you. <laughs> Come on, sit down, my friend. I'll you me from trouble. <laughs> We shall work out something soon. The school will not allow David to sit for his exams next week until the fees are paid. That is what this phone call is all about. I had to tip the electricity chaps who threatened to disconnect our supply. I owe the food vendor a lot of money and should call later today for the money. The battery in the only car we use is flat. Oh! I pity a condition. Enough of this self pity. You just must be up and doing. You, you can't, I mean, you just can't sit there all day long only to bemoan your bad luck. Okay, okay, okay. I will go and see Gerola and the pastor to assist us. I do not care who you go to see. Just make sure you don't come here empty handed. Enough is enough. You lazy drone. It's not your fault. Is he responding to treatment? He's now conscious. Oh. He's still now. Thank God. From the bio data he supplied, his name is Bankolio Kikiolu. I see him. He used to be a successful chartered accountant until things turned around for him. Oh. As a result of this, he suffers occasionally from blackouts. Hmm. One such occurrence must have been responsible for his crossing the road absent mindedly. Oh. What a pity. At any rate, please give him the best medical care you are capable of and send the bill to my office. I can assure you I will settle it most promptly. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, don't bother. Um, really, can I see him now? Oh, why not? Oh, please that, come with me, sir. That's nice of you. Yes, 
I'm happy the cocoa, you know, uh, are flowering well this year. Yes, it's because of... It's an indication that uh, we're going to have a good product, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, we're taking very good care of the cocoa. That's right. Yes, sir. That's right. Uh, if it does well, yes, it, it, will, it will encourage me to do more. Yes, eh? I intend, you know, getting more and more of it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm here for you, sir. That's all right. We have to cut these old ones. So we can replace yes, them with yes, you. Yes, sir. Yes. Um, when Baba comes from Ibadan, okay. with the chemicals, then we will spray the whole farm and with 500 hectares for harvest, sir, this year uh, harvest seems so good. Ah, I'm happy to hear that. Yes, sir. I hope so too. Yes, uh, meanwhile, okay, you can have all this. Thank you, sir. You are welcome. Yes, sir. Let's uh, thank God. We will always like to see you like this. Oh, I promise you will always see me around here. Uh, okay. Uh, shall we go to the cattle farm to see Mohammed? Uh -huh. Yes. The cows are doing well, I'm very sure. Very, 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 very. I'll be, have, I'm, I'll be happy to see you. Uh, are you sure he will be here? Uh, yes, he I was always, expecting he should be in the he's order. He's always here. Okay. Uh, uh, Muhammad! 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 Adara! Ah! <laughs> How Adara. are you? Uh, Lafia, go. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Lafia. How are you, Muhammad? <laughs> I'm very fine. How are you doing? Uh, very fine. And uh, how are the cows doing? Ah, the channel are very fine. <laughs> <laughs> We've been to the other ranch mm. and we didn't see you there. Ah, <laughs> oh, this was eh, are for sale. Eh? Shano for you eh, are for sale. Eh, Shano for, for bush. Ah, you see, they are fat, 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 fat. Eh? They are greasy. I want to tell you, I'm impressed with what I saw over there. Ah, thank you. It only shows you have been working very well. And I want to advise you to keep on working like that. Eh? <laughs> when next I come. <laughs> we'll be coming back to see you again. Yeah, thank you. Eh? Make sure you take care of them very well. <laughs> Mohammed, Mohammed. Right. Thank you. Right. Ah. Sir, you are a God fearing man by my assessment. Hmm. Honestly, a rich man in your category wouldn't have thought of what happened to me in the hospital. Hmm. I I'm just here to show appreciation of what you did for me, sir. Oh, come on. It's the lost doing. And I mustn't forget to tell you how appreciative members of my family are. Ah, oh, come on. I mean, let's give all the glory to God. But, listen, just excuse me. Uh, I, I'm sorry if I'm going to embarrass you with what I will ask you. Not at all, sir. You see, you have a striking resemblance of one uh, Okiki Olu who attended the Community Baptist High School some years back. Yes, yes, that is right. I attended that school some years ago. You lived around Okeleni area of the town then? Exactly, sir. Ah. <laughs> Do you by any means no one Abiola or Layemi? Abiola or Layemi? Am I eyes deceiving me? Of course not. Are you Abiola? Of course, there are no two Abiola or Layemi. The only unshakable in the world. Abiola, <laughs> look at him. Ow. Look at him. God is good all the time. Please listen to him. Can you imagine what brought us together again after some years? You see, this is the way the Lord works. You see, Jesus Christ intentionally wanted to save you. He only used me as an instrument, and there is only one option left for you. He said that you give your life to him and be saved or snubbed him to your peril. Abiostic, <laughs> you've changed a lot. Of course, of course. When did you become a minister of God? It's the lost dream. <laughs> oh, you're so religious, so convincing. I thank God. Anyway, you are so successful. I thank God for your life. I thank God for yours too. Now tell me, what do you do for a living now? <sighs> Abiola, compared your life and my life, my life is a wasted one. I qualified as a chartered accountant, and I was appointed as chief accountant at Milestone Incorporation. But there was a large-scale corruption going on there, and I tried to put books straight. In the process, I lost my job. Hmm. It's a pity. You see, people don't like the truth. 
And yet, whoever rejects God or forgets his God, anyone who does such will perish. It's true, it's true. It's true. You, you see, but never mind. The Bible says, in all things, give thanks. That is right. <laughs> that is right. Have your stick. That's me. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Um, Mr. Abankole Okikiolu. Yes, sir. The board of directors of Uplift Airline Services has found you suitable by merit. I mean, to be appointed as a chief accountant of one of our subsidiaries. Thanks, sir. The Uplift Air Chartered Services. And um, we expect you to please perform up to our expectations. And also justify the fat salaries that we're paying you. I thank you, Sarah and Ma, and I promise I won't let you down. Uh, that's okay, Mr. Kikyo. I'd like to introduce myself to you as the managing director in charge of the charter services, and also to tell you to wait behind for me in my office to have your letter of appointment. Mm -hmm. Once again, congratulations. Thank you, yes. Ma. Thank you, Ma. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Yes. Um, gentlemen, I want to believe we made the right choice, huh? Yes, I believe so. Yeah, he's well experienced. Um, he appears like a devout Christian. I thought as much too. And I want to believe he will not uh, unjustly enrich himself. Yes, he's cool headed. I don't think he's exposed to the lie extroverts are known for. Oh, let's just all be optimistic for now, because there's no way you would know what is on the mind of another man. Well, well, well. We have done our best. Why don't you let us leave the rest in the hands of God? <laughs> That's true, Chairman. Mm -hmm. Ah, where are buddy? Ah, uh -uh. Engineer How are you? I'm fine, sir. Ah, what a coincidence. I have been willing to see you after hey. the service yesterday. You see, I noticed that you were very moody yesterday. Your mind seemed to be very, very far away. You were not happy. What is the problem? Engineer Laini, I am fed up with my state of wretchedness. I need to do something fast about it. I am going for money making ritual. No! Ah, why must you think of such an evil thing to do? Hey, look, you must have to wait on your God. I'm joining you in prayers that God will give you divine provisions and do greater. You can say that because God has blessed you immensely. You can afford to worship him in truth. If you have to go through my predicament, you will sing another song. <laughs> Brother, nobody will advise you before you run to a traditionalist. Well, everybody with his own belief, I must see a traditionalist. Enough is enough! Brabody, every day, and I mean every day, I ask for God's anointing in whatever I do. <laughs> and even if my situation differs, I will serve the Lord. <laughs> you. You. Yes. <laughs> okay. We shall live to see it. We shall live to see it. Brother Bode? Brother Bode? Huh. Shade, the pressure comes from all directions. The engineer pilot wants the luxury of the income. And the caterer wants to shortchange the company. The most greedy of them all is the executive director. She supplies the aviation for, for my own company. And she also supplies half consignment we book for and demand for full payment. Can you imagine that? Do you ever learn lessons at all? What is it your holier than thou attitude that cost you your job at milestones? Have you forgotten what we've been through? Look, honey. Between prosperity and poverty, there is a big gap. 
and I don't want to live a life of penury anymore. Shade there, if you are in my shoe, how will you ward off these pressures? The situation is the same all over the world. It is the degree that differs. As far as I am concerned, we have all sinned and we have all fallen short of the glory of God. Meaning what? If you cannot beat them, you join them. With this statement of yours, you really disappoint me. I hope the devil is not pushing you back into the valley of penury and hopelessness this time around. Okay, I'm going to my office anyway. The ex auditors will be here tomorrow. But um, there's no cause for alarm. I've asked my boys not to make entry for the past three consignments so that the payment will match the quantity of fuel supplied. That means reconciliation will be okay. Fine. <sighs> I'm a bit relieved. All right. I'll make sure I remit $100,000 into your own domiciliary account tomorrow. And also in addition to that, I'll forward your name to the management for endorsement so that you can attend the workshop in Houston, Texas. That is kind of you, madam. That's more than last for you, through Esther Codes. You are wonderful. I'll continue to be wonderful as long as you keep your own part of the deal. From prying eyes, anyway. I hope you understand. That's okay. That is not it. <laughs> no, it, it cannot be. It's not possible. Ah, ah. Listen, will someone tell me what is happening to Air Chattered Services? Huh? I mean, this is a company that is posting a good trading result until the last quarter of last year. My chairman, sir, you know, business has its own funny side. Today it's up, tomorrow it comes crashing down, only to pick up the day after. Um, that is understandable in business. But how do we explain this that appears on a downward trend permanently? Uh-oh. I wonder, we've nosed dive to record heavy losses. The profit and loss account shows the companies in the red. Oh my God. Eh? My chairman, sir, we will weather the storm. You know, quitters don't win and winners don't quit. We will soon get over it, I promise you. Listen, and listen good. This is no threat. And I mean, this is no threat. The elders say that the same teeth that the dog uses in playing with the child is the same teeth he uses in biting it. Heads we roll. And I mean, heads we roll if there is no vast improvement within the shortest time possible. Period. Oh, Lord, Regina. Oh, Lord, Regina. Hola, what's the matter? Where has all the vibrancy in you gone? Look, Cosmas, I'm not in the same frame of mind with you right now, is that right? Come on, everybody has the blues. Let me take you out for a drink. Cosmas, don't you understand? Understand what? Look, I said all my businesses are crashing. Ah, you want me to go out and, I mean, celebrate their failure with drinks? Oh, no. What? That's the truth I'm telling you. I mean, the last quarter, all my companies recorded a combined loss of over $35.6 million. What? Yes. That's a big loss by any standard. Oh. Look, we have to do something fast about it. Something? Like uh, doing a bracadabra and turning red to black? No, no. All you see, there are some blue chip American companies on the internet, selling their shares to interested investors. 
I think you should come up and, uh, you know, purchase some of the shares. The companies are legally registered and they are free to do business on American soil. Look, Cosmas, I mean, look at me very well. Huh? Look at me, look at my status, and look at my, yeah, my exposure. You think I'll fall victim of this uh, 419 uh, yahoo, yahoo.com uh, fraud? Do you think so? Ola, you don't get it. Before I left home, have a look at this. I got that from my internet at home. That is the record of my dividends. From your internet? Yes. What I'm saying is this. The auditor's report confirms that there is a fraud. And if there is a fraud, then it necessitates an investigation. And if there is going to be an investigation, then you cannot be here. That is your letter of suspension. Abiola, you can't do this to me. You're a man of God. Listen, enough. Do not bring that in here. I am a man of God, yes. But does that mean you must ruin this company? Abiola, I don't know anything about the fraud. Let me continue with my job while investigation is on. No. And I said, no, that is not possible. I am tired of all this. And I said, enough is enough. If you don't mind, take your leave out of my office now. Does he think he's God? Even God forgives. What is wrong with him? Since you've refused to listen to me, I'll make sure you smell shit. Nonsense. Froster. Rogue. Dolly. We agreed on the instrumental payment of our debt. But unfortunately, we couldn't meet up with the payment shadow. And the plane was impounded. Wow. Uh, My God. Come on, take it easy. Ah. You see, you just have to take things easy. Just take it easy. It doesn't matter what is happening. I just want you to appreciate that father is not the end of the world. Hmm. Anyway, there is no point in crying over spilled milk. So what is the next line of action now? Talking honestly, darling. I don't know. I'm really at a loss as to what to do. I suggest that we seek legal advice. Or what do you think? Yeah. There's wisdom in that. Hmm. I think I, I, I'll give that a thought. Hmm? I'll give it a thought. Hmm. Yeah. So, is there any improvement in his condition? Yes, madam. Um, the situation is a bit critical. Uh, I was just about to call you. And we've transferred him to the intensive care unit. But we have to apply blood transfusion on him urgently. Blood transfusion? Huh. Okay. Okay. Okay, I will soon be there. I will soon be there. Auntie, there is a problem. What's the matter? The only needs blood transfusion. Blood transfusion? Auntie, he is the only son I have here. May God save his soul. Bukola, uh, let's leave that for now. What are you still waiting for? Okay, let me go and take my bag. Please be quick about it. Blood transfusion. Boy will be all right. Eh? You just calm down. The boy will have to be all right. Doctor, 
doctor. Um, please just give me a little more time. I will explain everything later. No. Please don't look back. at me. No, 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 no. Okay, come. come. Let's go. No. God, you can't do this to me. God, you can't do this to me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Bible says that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him from them all. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The transition unto glory of our dearly beloved son, Bill Yee, is a great loss to every one of us. But then, what can we do? What can we do then to keep on praising God? The Bible says that in every situation, we should give praise unto God, because God knows best. We all know that all things work together for good to them that love God and to those who are called according to his purpose. This family has gone through several trials, tribulations and sufferings in recent time. But should we now forsake God in our moment of trial? The answer is no. What we need to do at this point in time is to hold firm to our faith. Be of good faith so that we can all become beneficiaries of God's grace and glory. Praise the Lord. I have examined her again. Okay. From the result of her brain scan, um, it seems her fall from the first floor about a month ago is responsible for her inability to hear and speak. Hmm. <sighs> but what can we do? A lot of damage has been done to her brain. Um, maybe we can try an operation, but the chance of success is slim. Oh. Operation? But what if the operation is not successful? Mama. Oh, no, no, no. Don't let us think negative now. Let us be optimistic. Darling, darling, please, let's be hopeful. Hmm? Let's be hopeful. Here we go again. I'm devastated. I'm devastated. Come on, darling. <laughs> Everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Come on. My mind tells me there is something sinister about what is going on in this family. Hmm. I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I have considered the possibility that you might be living with a partner who sins you are bearing. Auntie, what do you mean? I'm serious. You know in any gathering where sinners are being punished, the righteous will partake out of it. And that was why Jesus said, if your right hand offends you, cut it off. After all, it's better to enter into the kingdom of heaven maimed 
than to enter into hell with your full hands complete. Look, if your husband is the source of this problem in this home, then leave him! Back out of his house! Ha ha! Auntie, I am that blunt. I can't do that. It's unfair to my husband. Mm -hmm. I can't. I'm sorry, Ola, that the deal went bad. You see, I never knew we were dealing with internet fraudsters. Honestly. Devil in the house. But Ola, I wouldn't do that to you. I didn't set you up, honestly. How could I have done that to you? Go away. No, Ola, you don't understand. Leave me alone. Go away. Oh, Ola, I tried. I tried. Go away. Go. jumped into River Thames? Ah! Larry! Oh my God! Ah, because he failed his Oxford University exam? Oh! Listen, Inka. You have to take it easy, huh? Stop crying. Please, stop crying. I know, I know it, this is hard, but please put yourself together. You know you're alone there. That's all right. I'll, I'll call you later. I'll, look, look, I'll, I'll call you back. <sighs> oh my God. What do I make out of this? I suspected it all along. This is more than coincidence. Two strange deaths in two straight weeks. <sighs> the other time, Titi fell down from the stairs and got deaf and dumb. Hey, I can't possibly break this news to the parents. I have to see the pastor. Hmm. I just can't explain this. But then, only God knows best. What I just want to say is that you should be firm in your faith. Please come in. Uh, please, we are here to see one engineer, Biola Olayemi. Yes, I'm engineer Olayemi. Is there anything I can do for you? You are under arrest. What? Huh? You just bust in here like that without beating anybody. Is that the way you were taught your job? Keep out of this, will you? Uh -huh. Stand up and let's leave to avoid embarrassment. What, what have I done? What's my offense? You can't ask him to follow you. What has he done? When he gets to our office, he will be told what his offense is. <sighs> Meanwhile, you have every right to remain silent. For anything you say will be used against you as evidence in the court of law. <sighs> but this is not done in a civilized society. 
I can't believe what I'm seeing. Would you want to voluntarily follow us or you want us to physically force you? It is right. I'll follow you. Now back to the reason why we brought you here. You placed an order for some goods from Hong Kong, is that right, sir? Yes. I ordered some electrical and electronic materials worth 200 million naira. Good. So what else did you order or include in the container? Nothing else. Nothing? I, I have the inventory of all I ordered. The list is at home. In case you want to see them. Ah. But we discovered that about 80 kilograms worth of cocaine were carefully concealed in three different places of the container that brought your goods. No. That's wouldn't have been my container. Are you not engineer Olayemi? Yes, I am. I'm sure this is a case of mistaken identity. Mistaken identity, indeed. Give him second course. No. No. No! Let us know beforehand. Mm. 
Once you're ready, let us know before so that we can prepare for you. That's my boy. Okay. Okay, I'll be expecting your call. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Bye bye. I hope the matter has been settled finally. Matter? I mean your case with the police and uh, the custom people. Oh, that. Well, uh, the case is in court. And uh, it has been listed for hearing for the month end. Your wife said your lawyer did a wonderful job. Hmm. That if not for him, they wouldn't have released you on bail. <laughs> there is no justice in this country. After all, we don't have cocaine pusher in our family. Mm -hmm. And nobody can even, you know. Women will always be women. What will all your sharp tongue achieve in this? Now, what are we going to do? Well, presently there is nothing we can do. But all we need to do, therefore, is uh, to put all our hope in God's hands. I think we should look at this case from another angle. I mean, we should... Go straight to the point. Okay. What I'm trying to say is that we should, uh, uh, you know, uh, you see, uh, when... You are not a man. Look, my dear brother, there is no secret under his son. We have come to the conclusion that all these problems are not natural. Let's give to Caesar what is Caesar's. And this case is not beyond what a uh, good abalist will do. I think... Ashabi is making a very good point here. Mm. With the assistance of this native Melsi man, the case will be quashed in court and you will have nothing to worry about with this case again. Well, as you can see, I have listened to the two of you most attentively. Firstly, let me appreciate you for your genuine concern. But regarding the issues of Habalist or no habalist, with all humility and respect, I must tell you, I am not interested. You see, the Bible says in Psalm 34, it says, Many are the affliction of the righteous, but that the Lord delivers him from them all. You see, one thing I am very sure of is that at the end of this matter, it does not matter how tough it looks now. I will have every cause to give glory to the name of the Lord. That I am very sure of. Ayomiku, sir. Is this Ayomiku? Yes, your only Ayomiku. Hey, Ayomiku, the Americana. That's it. We didn't know you were coming. It has been a long time I saw you last. You are welcome. Have you brought all of America for me? Ah, ah, shh, Uncle, lower your voice. This is a surprise visit. I want to catch my parents. By surprise! Oh. <laughs> Are you a miracle? There is always something from your bag of surprises. That was it. Anyway, you are welcome. Thank you, sir. Your parents are at home. Eh? Thank you, you are welcome. Much. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. It's quite a delicious meal. Thank you. <laughs> yes, um, Ayomiko, how are you coping? A black lawyer in a white man's uh, chambers. <laughs> <laughs> 
that gone are the days when there is high level of discrimination. Mm. What matters now is how good you are. Mm. Once your competence is, is established, mm. that's all. There's no problem at all. <laughs> you remember that I am a product of one of the best universities in the world. Mm. The Harvard University. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Mom. For sending me to that university. And for your love and support. Don't mention that, son. <laughs> I trust my son, the analytical lawyer. <laughs> That yes, sir. there is something important you taught us. And what could that be? That the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Hmm. And that has been my sustenance. Son, it's very nice of you remembering that. Thank you, Dad. Please keep it on. Thank you, Dad. And I'm telling you it will sustain you. Thank you, Dad. It is the beginning of wisdom. <laughs> hmm. Ayomi, come. Yes, ma'am. On a more serious note. When are you getting married? Huh? Darling. I'm serious. <laughs> Mommy, I've not found a suitable partner. Mm -hmm. And above all, I'm still waiting for God's leading. Uh, uh, Dad, mm -hmm. uh, Mom, please, be assist me with prayers. Mm -hmm. Look, I, Omiko, I cannot agree with you less. Marriage is not a thing you rush into without the divine leading of the Lord. <laughs> Look, we'll be praying with you. And I know God will give you your own wife at his appointed time. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> um, Dad, Mom, I got to rush to the bank. I transferred some cash into my domiciliary account some couple of weeks ago. And I would love to um, withdraw some amount of money from there. Like uh, six thousand dollars, which we will change to our own currency to offset some of the debts we have on ground. You see, Ayomiko, right from your infancy, I know you're going to grow up to be a very wise boy. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you very much. You, I'm always very proud of you. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> you are considerate. I know you won't leave me to my fate. Thank you, Mommy. Mm. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye bye. Where there is always a provision for the pensioners. Armed robbers again struck this morning at the premises of the High Liquidity Bank, where a young man was gunned down in broad daylight in front of the bank. Eyewitness accounts said the robbers took away the money the victim cashed from the bank. Speaking yeah, of the looks incident, similar to the police one I explained that this a man hunt for the robbers no, no, has no, been launched. A release from that. the police public relations department said the passport found on the victim bore the name Ayomikun Olayemi. Ah. Eyewitness accounts said wait, 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 the victim wait, let's, was immediately rushed to the first call hospital. What call hospital? Ah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Fuck, fuck, fuck. No, 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 please wait. Watch. Uh, uh, it's alright, I'll ask Please, um, our son. Our son, the boy that was brought here with multiple gunshots. Where is he? Just wait a minute. I'll ask the doctor on the emergency duty to speak with you. Oh, please do, please do. Eh? They are coming to the doctor now, right? It's okay. It's alright. It's okay. It's alright. It's alright. Um, haha. It's okay. It's alright. Doctor. Ah, son. Yes. The, the boy that was brought with multiple gunshots. Has he? Yes, he was brought in with multiple gunshots. Yeah. And uh, he was bleeding profusely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we managed to extract some of the gunshots. Yes. But, um. What's what? Eh? What? What? But what? No, 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 it's alright. It's alright. Madam, it's okay. It's okay. Madam, okay. okay. madam, okay. madam, madam, darling, madam. Oh God, 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 please take control. It's alright, madam. Mommy, madam. madam. my judgment. I have gone through the submissions of the prosecution. I have listened to the arguments advanced by the defense counsel. 
in law when there are inconsistencies or ambiguities or doubts the case is resolved in favor of the accused i have examined this case critically and i have found discrepancies in the statements of prosecution witness in view of the fact that the prosecution cannot prove its case beyond reasonable doubt i hereby dismiss the suit I hereby discharge and acquit the accused person. Have you lost your privilege? I rise. Cut! been here for quite a while mm. and there is no sign of any improvement I'll suggest we remove the life support machine no if the issue is a bill we will pay look doctor yes please <laughs> I have faith in God I have faith that he will soon respond to treatment and I have faith that there will soon be a drastic improvement I believe it if that's the way you want it mm. I have no choice. No problem, Doctor. No, sir. No problem. Um, darling, <clears throat> shall we pray? Our Lord and our God, we pray in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, that you will restore health back unto your Son, Ayomiko, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we pray that you will heal him fully in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we ask that, Lord, you will take away every sickness, every affliction, and every disease from him in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we pray that you will take absolute and perfect control of his health. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we ask. Amen. 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 Darling, <laughs> it is well with him. It's all good. In Jesus' name. Thank you very much. Oh, you're so thin in this garden. Yeah. Quite a beautiful one it is. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> you're welcome. Darling, guess who's here? Oh, my hola. <laughs> Bat, yeah. Bat, you're welcome. So how are you? How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. It's a pleasure seeing you again. Yeah. yeah, me too. Please have your seat. Thank you, Let madam. Let me go and get you a glass so that you can join your friend. Oh, that would just be too nice of you. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. So how are you doing? I'm fine, I'm fine. Look, Pat, <clears throat> I'm here on a very, very serious note. You see, I need your help. And I bet you just must have to help me. You see, I have to pay my daughter's school fees. Uh, you know, my daughter's schooling abroad in the final year class. And um, you are aware that my house in London got burnt. And it's the returns I have from this house that they're using financing higher education. Pat, you just must have to help me. Hmm? Uh, you are not someone I shouldn't help. But the truth is, I am extremely low of funds now. I, I really wish I could be of help. But there is not much I can do for now. I hope you understand. Uh, well, of course I do. Right? Oh, madam, <laughs> don't bother, madam. I'll be okay. No, I'll take something now. Oh, no, 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 don't bother. Uh, Patrick, I bet I have to take my leave now. You see, I have to try my luck elsewhere. I hope you understand. Oh, no problems. Yeah, but let me Patrick, just see you. Okay, oh, don't bother. I'll be okay. I'll be all right. <laughs> see you again, madam. Are you okay? Very much okay. Oh. Thank you very much. Okay. I'll see you again. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Well, my dear. I've done an estimate of what I will need for my birthday party. Okay. So how much will it cost? Um, I've considerably cut down the cost. I think I can make do with just two million naira. <laughs> well, that's all right. Uh, if you can let me have my checkbook in my brown uh, briefcase, I will sign a check of two million naira for you right now. Oh. My darling, you're a sweetheart. Thanks so much. Thank you. Let me just go and get it right away. All right, all right. 
my Father and my God, authority in heaven, creator of heaven and earth. You are the one that decreed in your word that if anyone among us is sick, that the elders of the church should pray for him. Lord, in obedience unto your word right now, I pray for your son Ayomikun to receive his healing in Jesus' name. I command Ayomikun to receive your healing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My Father and my God, you decreed that we should command you concerning the works of your hands. In obedience unto your word, I decree by the authority in the name and blood of Jesus Christ that I, Yomikun, receive his healing by the anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. That the anointing should heal him, the anointing will make him whole in Jesus' name. And your sins will be forgiven in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name of Nazareth, I pray. In Jesus' name, I pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen and amen. I hope there's no problem. Oh, no. Nothing to worry about at all. Nothing. You see, I discovered I have to have an urgent and very important discussion with Solani Kwekum. That's why I'm here. And he's not yet back from work. Ah. He's not back. He, he told me he wanted to see a friend who is traveling abroad this night. Oh, my God. Ah. Huh. What do I do now? And that was why I came very late, so that he should have returned from work. Hey. Now I'm at a loss as to what to do. Uh, let me get you something to drink. And while you are drinking, I'm sure you'll be back. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't bother. Don't bother. Don't bother. Okay. Why not leave a message with me? I will tell him when he comes back. I, I think that is what I'll do. Please, when he comes, eh, tell him to see me first thing in the morning tomorrow. It is important. Will you do that for me? Ah, sure, I will. Mean. Thank you very much. You. You're welcome, sir. It's all right. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. My guest will want me. I will do that. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Good night, sir. Okay. Good night. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> Has he gone? Why will he not be broke? Why? Why will he have money? When he lived a false life. Imagine, he bought a big bus for the church, sent all his children abroad to study, throwing white parties on sheep. He's <laughs> the cause of all his troubles. He's the cause. Who even knows what the, the, the couple did in secret? Who knows? You see? Imagine the death of their children, one after the other. Imagine. And now, the house is burnt. <laughs> May I never live in wretchedness? I'm sorry. He's very, very busy. He doesn't want to be disturbed. Please. This matter, you know, concerns my life. It's urgent. Please, my future is at stake. Help call him. It's urgent, please. Okay, I'll call him, but he doesn't want to be disturbed. It's alright. Yes. Sir. Your brother in the university needs to see you urgently. Oh, I see. Let him come in. Let him come in. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. You may go in and see him. You're welcome. Ah, uh, Olani Pekun. Sit down. What's the matter? I hope there's no. Uh... Yes. Um, I'm sorry, sir, to interrupt you, sir. Uh, I have to pay for my final practical papers. And today is the deadline. So 
So I rushed down so that I can get the money. I see. And how much is that? 25,000. 25,000 Naira. I see. Just a minute. Yes, sir. Come in right away. Yes, sir. You will raise 30,000 Naira for him from the impressed account. Then raise a check for that amount and bring it for my signature so that we can reimburse the impressed account. Yes, sir. Do that immediately. Yes, sir. Just take it easy. Let her do whatever you want to do. So, how's the schooling? It's fine, it's fine, sir. Got it already. Yes, sir. Thank you. You can leave now. All right, sir. So, Yes, sir. Here you are. Thank you very much, sir. You saved me from uh, having to repeat a new session. Thank you, sir. You don't need to thank me. I'm only doing my duty. Uh, I think you better get back to the campus on time before the bus closes. I will do that, sir. Thank you. All right. It's all okay. Thank Take you, care sir. of yourself. Yes, sir. Bye bye. Thank you. Uh, I, I didn't know he's back home. I came back from through the... He came to the back door? Yes. I didn't know. Yes. I left my key on oh. that small stool. Daddy, sorry. Can I have the key, please? Uh, the the key? Yeah. Uh, so let's talk, let's talk. Uh, Daddy, let's sorry. Discuss. I didn't know he's back Can home. I have the key, please? So, um, let's talk. I hope uh, you want to discuss some things with me. Daddy. Sir! Sir! I am a girl. <laughs> 30 years ago, after my marriage, I had to wait for good two years before God answered my prayer for the fruit of the womb. When I conceived, I was so happy. I was very happy. I remember in the labor ward when the doctor told me you are a boy. I was so happy. I was so happy. Your father too was very happy. You know that you have brought us joy. And we name you Ayomeko. Ayomeko, please do not let this joy turn into sorrow. When I'm sad, you make me happy. And when I'm down, you lift my spirits up. You can't do this to me. You can't leave me alone. I love you so, so much. Daddy loves you. Your sisters love you as well. 
We are missing you already. Already missing you. We are missing you. We are missing you. Please don't go. Please don't go. Don't go. Please don't leave me. You can't do this to me. Ayomeku. Please don't leave us. Don't leave us. Lord. Please don't take away my son. Lord, you can't do this to me. You can't take my son away. You can't take my son away. Please bring my son back to me. Bring my son back to me. Bring my son back. Bring my son back to me. Bond? Yes, Auntie. Ah! Oh. Hmm. I learned that one of the tenants left the electric cooker on for work. The fire started from his apartment. Before anyone knew what was going on, it had already spread to the other five apartments. Hey. I am devastated. It's worse for me. Oh. The point is, we need to pay Nyenka school's fees. And the only source of income has gone up into the flame. I believe the insurance is picking up the bills. No. What? No. They declined responsibility. Ah! Claiming that we did not renew the insurance policy on the house this year. Oh, what a pity. Oh. Bukola. Everything will be okay. You'll be fine. Oh. <sighs> Auntie, please can you assist us with a loan to pay Yinka's school fees? Please. Oh. Please. What the wrong time. Oh. I don't have much on me now. What am I going to do now? I will speak to my friend, Stella. She should be of help. Okay. Okay, auntie. I've got to go now. All right. Please greet your husband for me. Okay. Tell him to take things easy. Okay. Huh? I'll speak to you on the phone. Take care. Okay. Is it now that she should be running Elta Skelta? I offered to take her to Baba. She refused. Let her roast in her own stew. That serves her right. Stubborn girl. Hmm. Now that we have exhausted all relevant avenues, without luck, what do we do? Hmm. My concern is for Yinka. Will she terminate her education after spending six good years in the medical school with just one year to go? <sighs> oh, darling, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We are harvesting the cocoa and the cola nut this year. And you remember I told you a cocoa merchant advised that we should export our harvest so that we will have a better result. Remember? Yes, I got it. The solution. <laughs> when is the cocoa going to dry and process for export? And when are we going to remit the money? That can solve our immediate needs. Yes, yes, uh, but, but uh, we have to start from a place. We have to start from somewhere, eh? Look, 
Let me get to the village to meet uh, Uncle Akobi and the workers. This is the season for harvest. Hmm? Who could that be? Uh, just a minute. Ah! See what I'm saying? Uncle Akobi? What a coincidence! Oh, you are welcome. Thank you very much. Do you know, I was just on my way to meet you in the village. Is that so? Yes. There is a problem. Biola? Pro -pro problem or what to say? And I want you to listen very well. Uh, I won't stay long. I will soon be back. Make sure my food is ready before I return. Huh? Good morning, sir. Ha good morning, Atada. Yes, sir. And uh, what good tidings have you brought from the farm? Good tidings? There is nothing to be cheerful about, sir. Ah. In spite of all the chemical treatment we gave to the cocoa plantation, the pots were still infested with pests. What? The most terrible aspect is that there is nothing, nothing from the cocoa, nor the kola nut trees. What do I call this? Disaster? Tragedy! Oh! Uh, uh, Oga, I even went to Auntie Ashabi's house. She said I should come and report everything to you. Uh, okay, let's go to the farm. No, let me. Okay, let's see Ashabi first. Let's see her. Ashabi, let's go! This is not the time for all this. I'm coming, oh. What are you doing here, Megida? I didn't know you were here. I have come to tell Mama that all this are I don't die. Kajiko, I don't die. What did you say? You mean over 1,000 cows dead? Kai! In all my life as an elseman, I have never seen such a thing. Kai! Bashaun. Muhammad. What kill over 1,000 cows at a go? Basha. Unbelievable. Basha on your life. Hey. This strange aptness. <sighs> Who are we to question our creator? I just want both of you to accept all what has happened as an act of God. Hmm. Now I know. Yes. Now I know that the locusts, the canker worm, the caterpillar, the palmer worm, are decisive on destroying the glory that the Lord had given me. Yes, I know. Uncle Akonbi. I thank you. I thank you for your concern and your good advice. We shall continue to pray. When you know that your car is bad, why are you using it as a car? It's all right. I'm very sure it's a minor problem. I'll fix it now. Just give me one minute, eh? Wait now. Just a minute. Eh? And I asked the mechanic to fix this vehicle yesterday. Eh? What type of a problem is this now?
<laughs> Darling, you see, I waited and ensured that lady counted that money in my presence. <laughs> One thing you need to know, some people could be very, very funny at that. Very funny. <laughs> ah, you need to see the lady. She was so relieved that, that she couldn't even find words to express herself. She didn't know what else to say. <laughs> You did what? Uh, uh, I mean, return the money. Return the money back to the owner? Yes. What do you expect? <sighs> but you know what we have been going through? <sighs> I've been praying day and night. For a breakthrough, but for a thoughtless husband to throw that opportunity away, it's unbelievable. <laughs> How dare you do that? How dare you? Come on, darling. Darling. <sighs> Look, we cannot convert that lady's money and call it our own breakthrough. It's never done. Yes. Check your Bible. From Genesis to Revelation. Check your Bible. Are you out of your senses? Not really. Now listen to me. Listen to me. There is no single portion of the Bible that asks us to convert other people's uh, wealth to ours. Come on, darling. Let us be patient. Let us be patient. And at God's own time, He will intervene. Let's be prayerful. Let's be prayerful. So what does the Bible say we should pray for? Papa lying me. I'm listening. God's intervention. God's intervention at this crucial time of ours. That's all we need. <laughs> Darling. But one thing I'm sure of is that God will lift us to the platform of joy and perpetual happiness. And that if we are steadfast, we will meet with God's favor. That I know. Hello, ma. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, Peter. It is nice to have you around. Thank you, ma'am. Please sit down. Th thank you, ma'am. Ma, your, your daughter told me some, some things in the school. And she wants me to, to come and discuss with you at home. Hmm. So what is it that Titi wants you to tell me? Yes. I, I believe it has to do with problem at home. Mm. So she wants me to advise you and her dad to overlook your problem in the interest of She's saying she wants you people to stop quarreling at all. And to have faith in God. And to remember what the visiting pastor who came during the Easter celebration, told you that you should learn to endure as it is in the Bible. James chapter 1, verse 12, which says, Blessed is the man who keeps on going when times are hard, 
after he has come through them, he will receive a crown of life. A crown God has promised those who love him. She is saying that you should live by faith. As in the Bible, Hebrew chapter 11, verse 1. May God, who gives hope, fill you with great joy. Amen. May you have perfect peace as you trust him. Amen. Ah, excuse me, sir. You didn't pay the twist now for the papers we read yesterday. It's all right, my boy. I know that God will provide, huh? God will provide. <laughs> and again, those papers, please don't fold them. I'm supplying those ones to offices. It's all right. It's all right. Hmm? Never mind. I ensure none of your paper is, you know, rumpled. Is that all right? How are you and your family? Yeah, we thank God they are fine and yours. We thank God we give all the glory to God. <laughs> you are still very religious in spite of all this hardship you are going through. <laughs> of course I am. What do you expect? I'm yet to see a man who is so God-fearing. Disciplined, gentle, kind, generous, patient, devoted and faithful to God, but still wallowing in hardship. Is it you or your generation that offended God? I mean, what could be the source of this predicament? If you are this faithful to God and all this happens to you, then what do you make out of it? I have seen several people who are without faith and without the fear of God living well and no mystery befalls them. Why should you be serving God and be suffering? Well, God never twists judgments. And he never fails to do what is right. Perhaps you may be right, Patrick. But why don't we leave everything in the hands of God? You know, he's the all-knowing and all-wise God. Huh? Well, bye-bye, Patrick. And I know he will never tempt us beyond what we can endure. <laughs> Look at me, darling. I know him. That sooner than later he will make a way out for us. Hmm? I saw it coming. Yes, what? I saw it coming. What, what did you say? Is that the reason why you fell for the tricks of 419? Oh, come on, darling. You know this is not the time to apportion blames. You know that. <laughs> you are the cause of the problems in this family. What? And I'm fed up of all this undeserved punishment. I'm leaving you. I'm leaving you for good. Darling. Darling. My God. Has it gone to this level? Jesus. Darling. I'm leaving. What, what, what do you think you're doing? I'm leaving you for good. No. I'm not, I'm Mommy. Mommy, please. 
Don't leave us. <laughs> mommy, please. Things are going to be better. Please, mommy. I wish you knew what is happening. But unfortunately, you don't know. Everything will soon be better. Please. Darling! No, 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 no. Please, I'm leaving. Please, Darling! I'm leaving. You, you. I'm leaving. Please. Please. <laughs> if my griefs and troubles were washed on skills, they were worth more than the sands of the sea. What have I done to deserve all this? What? I have searched everywhere. I wonder where she is. I must find her. I must find her before she comes to any harm. This is the third week. The third week she packed out of her home. Nobody has a clue about where she possibly could be. Yeah! <laughs> 